Um, I don't know how this happened. Hello guys! I am currently on the way to my first nail appointment in over a year and a half, I believe. I don't think I've had my nails done since Christmas of 2019. I'm here pulling up. Here's the before and I will show you all the after in about two hours, I guess. Done, guys. Check them out. They are freaking gorgeous. I love them so much. I said I might be in there for two hours and it didn't take that long. It was an hour and 20 minutes, faster than I expected. Hey, honey bun. Hey, love. Happy birthday, my Thanks handsome love. husband. We can't wait to see you tonight. I can't wait to see you. Love you. I love you too, honey. Bye. Bye. It's hot. I need to turn on my car. I'm about to pass a Goodwill and I think I'm gonna pop in real quick. I've got that itch to go thrifting right now. I've been wanting to find some colorful stuff. Some more springtime, summertime kind of looks. Just pulled up to the Goodwill. Thrifting makes me so happy. Let's go. Look at that. What a beautiful day to go thrifting. Walking in, the shoes are right up front and these look adorable, but they have definitely been past their prime. A lot of those little jewels are knocked off in the front. So I'm looking at these two shirts and this one is not a brand that I recognize. It does have a stain on it. But it looks cute for like vacation. I might try to see if I can get the stain out. And then look at this cute little Victoria's Secrets vintage sunflower tank. I almost want to buy it just because it's so darn adorable. It's kind of shiny and like iridescent in the light. But it is a medium and like this bow. I don't, I don't know. Still in the short sleeve section looking for some summer tops. Basically all the Goodwills in my area organized by color. So this is the red section. They have lots of stripes and floral patterns in here. It's really hard to read, but that's by Anthropology. I think these are cool. And they are just barely too small. Put that embroidery on it. Moving along to the long sleeve shirts. This is by Rails, which I love to find. I would have bought this if it was a different color. I'm just not crazy about this one. So I just found this a champion sweatshirt. It looks a little bit worn and faded, but it is size small. And I'm thinking about doing like a thrift flip and acid washing it with bleach. That is a better look at the color. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna get it. Still in the long sleeve area. This is another brand that I like to find. It's called Chaser and it's just plain long sleeve thermal. Like the stripe knit. And this red Lauren Ralph Lauren blazer. They always have the most intricate buttons that are absolutely stunning on their pieces. Um, I don't know how this happened but let's talk about coats for a moment. That's like all I found. We have this one by Philosophy. It's like a Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack brand. And I just don't know if Teddy coats are like still in style or not. It's kind of cute when I put it on. Next up, a blazer. And this is a wool blazer. So I feel like it's not something I can wear until the fall or winter time. Check out the cool buttons on it. These are so pretty and they're on sleeves too fits me really well so it's kind of like a statement piece that I could hold on to and then I showed you all this one that I found but then right behind it I found this Nike one and this one is not crop and it's a size medium so I think I'm gonna get this one instead just so that way it fits me a little bit better it also doesn't look as worn so this is gonna be the one that I take home next up is a jean jacket and this is truck fit like little Wayne's brand pretty cool I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that one. And I also found another jean jacket 
I've been on the hunt for a jean jacket for a very long time, so I'm excited to find this one. I also found this Land's End coat, and it does have a little bit of dirt around the neck, and I noticed down here, but it's really well, and it's like a long coat that goes all the way down to my thighs. So I think I'm gonna get it. I don't have anything purple. It has a nice hood on it. It feels super good quality. It does have down filling, super soft, lightweight. And then the only thing that was not a coat was this shirt that I think I showed you all already, but I am gonna get it because I think it's cute for vacation. Before I check out, I always come over and look at the shoes that they put in the display case up front. These are mostly men's, but they're really nice ones. So this is everything that I'm gonna get. I end up taking it all off the hangers just so it's easier to check out. So I'm on the way to Sephora. Let's go get Chris's birthday gift. So I got Chris one of the Sephora favorites sets and this is the cologne sampler. And then I also wanted to go over and check out the Anastasia section because ever since I posted my birthday get ready with me, I've been on the hunt for the brow freeze from my sister-in-law. And of course it's still sold out. Here we are. This is one of the biggest Sephora bags that I have ever gotten, okay? If I'm being quite honest, I don't think I've ever gotten a bag this big for any of the purchases I have ever made for myself. If I just leave it in the bag like this and I don't wrap it up at all, I think he's gonna be extremely confused what this is. So I got a set just like this for myself not too long ago and I wanted to get Chris the men's version and it comes with nine samples to try out, figure out which ones you like the best, and then you take the certificate inside back to the store and get a full size bottle of that fragrance that you like the most. And I already think I know which one I will like the most, but we'll see. Hello. Hey, Dad. Hi, baby. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? How are you and Krista? Enjoying his birthday? You guys got plans today? We actually don't have any plans. We went out last night because he was off Tuesday. So we met up with some friends and had like a fun little dinner last night. But today we're just chilling. He looked at the bag and he said, what'd you get me, cologne? That's like the only thing I thought <laughs> Sephora. This is nice, wow. Look at that. Don't drink a mile light blue, I love don't drink a mile light blue. Akadejo is great, that's classic. And then I've tried the Versace, it's of the Eros. Eros. It's a little musky for I me. I didn't think you would like that. I used to wear light blue myself. I yeah. I like light blue. I just don't think it's really that mm, good of like I if like you it. pick it against other stuff. And the Eros, I saw that it was on this and whenever I was in the store, I smelled Smell it. it. It smells way too strong. It's pretty strong. That's okay. I like trying new things. So then the Aqua Di Gio, what does that smell like? Aqua Di Gio is like classic. Your dad wears That's that, small. doesn't he? Yeah, but has um, Aqua Di Gio. I've had Aqua Di Gio before, back in college. Um, it was like my nicest. I had a really, really small bottle and I used it up really quickly. So that'll probably be the one I end up getting, but I'm very excited to try some of the other ones on here. Like the Mr. Burberry I've never tried. Never had Valentino, never heard of Spice Bomb, and then that doesn't even have- Victor any. and Roth Spice Bomb. This, uh, these two are that. the same designer. It's like Paco Rabanne or something. Oh. One million, I've heard of people talk about, but I've never smelled it. And I think I'm the most excited about that one. And I tried to take my reusable bag and I outdid it very quickly. It's been such a long time since I had a hole this big. We are here for the try on portion of this haul. I actually filmed this the night of with Chris and we had some technical difficulties where all of my files were corrupted and I lost all of it. So for my subscribers that know me in real life and know that Chris's birthday has since passed, that is why I'm sharing it now after the fact because I wanted to include the try on portion. I know that is some of you all's favorite part so I really didn't want to post this video without it. So here we are, I have all of my stuff to show y'all and let's get into it. Okay, let me first say that this haul is the reason that I tell you all to shop off season. It's where you find the best stuff. So most of this is all coats. If you watched the earlier part, you saw that's mostly what I found. The only thing that wasn't coat is this top, and this is by a brand called Lettuce by Amy. 
I don't know how to pronounce that. And please do not judge me for my pajama bottoms. I didn't want to put on nice pants for this, but it's a really cute off the shoulder blouse and has a linen feel to the material, but it is a cute little white blouse. So next up is this blue jean jacket and it is from Old Navy. I originally thought that it was vintage because the tag looks really old, but I found the label on the inside and it has the date from 2007. So it's not vintage, but it's quite old. I've been needing a jean jacket in my wardrobe for quite a while. I had one a long time ago and I think I got rid of it because it was really oversized, like too big. And this is like the perfect size. It's just a medium, but it has a little bit of an oversized fit that I do like. And it's just a plain old blue jacket. The next item is this truck fit black jean jacket. And the other one was the first jean jacket I added to my closet, but a black one is great because it's different. So this has cheetah print down the sleeves. I did notice that the elbows are a little bit worn out on this. No big deal. And this was the biggest jacket of all of them. It is a lands in puffer, super warm, but also very lightweight at the same time. Don't get me wrong. I had to pull the camera back so that y'all could see the length of the coat. <laughs> so it's really long. It goes to the knee pretty much. That's like knee length. And I love it. It's just so stinking cute. I think that the color is gonna mess up how it picks up on camera. It's like an eggplant purple. Absolutely beautiful and it's made extremely well. There's also a hood. Love it. I need to get this off though because I'm getting hot. <laughs> Okay, and the last thing is this Nike hoodie. I'm being quite honest, I just went and pulled this out of my bedroom because I've been wearing it nonstop since I found it. It's really just a simple, basic black hoodie, but it's a size medium, so it fits me oversized, which I always love. And it was really good condition. Like, it didn't look like it had been worn that much or washed because there was no fading. So that's just always a great find, and I love to wear these around the house. So let this be your reminder, if you are just shopping summer sections right now and skipping over the coats, hoodies, and jackets, go look at those sections. Most people are not checking them out at all right now, which means you can find some really good stuff. And I definitely did. I love, love, love to find coats at the thrift store because coats can be so expensive. Like the ones that I found, 50 to $100 or more on those. So I'm always happy to find that kind of stuff at the thrift store and like this hoodie, perfect condition. A Nike store, you're gonna spend at least $30 on something like this. And all of the jackets are $6.99. This would have been $3.99. This shirt would have been maybe $3.99 too or $2.99, I don't know. But anyways, I got the whole haul for about $30 and that is love. Make sure that you leave a thumbs up down below and let's get back to the vlog. It is a new day and the sun is directly on my face. So I just pulled into a parking lot at a plant nursery. It looks pretty big, especially from the outside. It looks huge. So I'm really excited to see if they have some special stuff. Hopefully the prices are reasonable. I am gonna take you all inside and see what I can find. Hope y'all are ready to see some plants. <laughs> Ooh, $80 to start us out. This is a beautiful vining monstera and it's quite tall. I mean, I think it's about five or six feet, honestly. Gorgeous leaves. Then we have some baby monsteras next to it. These are the same thing, but just tiny ones, and they're $9.99. Very affordable. We've got some beautiful flowers. I want one of these so bad. Oh, they're so cute. This one right here. I think that's the most perfectest little specimen, huh? Fun fact, succulents are actually my weakness. I am terrible at growing them. This is cool. This is kind of weird. What I'm here for. I love the pink edges on these. It's really pretty. And that is $24.99. Huge Monsteras and Bird of Paradise. That is $99.99. Woo, $100, but it's huge. Honestly, it's probably like five feet tall. Some pothos. I probably have about 20 of these plants and this is $24.99. This guy is definitely falling over. $16.99. Cutie. I think I need to get a, a moss pole. This big one is $9.99, but it's too big. I definitely need one that's smaller. Okay, we get one half the size. More pothos. I love the variegation on these leaves. And those are $29.99. 
I've been wanting to get a plea for so long. These are $29.99 as well. It's kind of hard to read this label. It's a ficus burgundy and that is $24.99. Gorgeous, honestly. Beautiful yellow leaves. Ooh, and look at those hanging ones. I love hanging plants so much. Cute little string of pearls, that is $16.99. When I have a house I own, I just want them all over the place. These plants have been on my wish list for so long, but a little bit out of the budget still. Just look how gorgeous these are though. The ones that have already vined down quite a bit. It's all the way down. Oh, here. It's so cool. Swiss cheese plants. Look at that. The roots have busted straight through this pot. You got some strong roots on you, buddy. You definitely need a new pot. Oh my gosh, that is just barely hanging on in there. They've got a ton of these and they're huge. That one is just wrapping around the top right there. And you've got some cute new growth. Gorgeous leaves right there. Ooh, and look at the white on those. Got a purple violet. Quite a trunk on that one. Look at that pink. Ooh, it's like magenta. Gorgeous. That is a statement plant. Lots of fiddle leaf figs. Some bird of paradise. Palms. And some very tall fiddle leaf figs. Those are structural and great for decorating an indoor space lots of them all right this is actually what i came here to buy <laughs> all of that walking around and i really came here to get soil i need a fertilizer so i got some perlite and some worm castings i wanted to get coco coir and for some reason i did not pick that up but i did grab some moss poles just got some little ones because i've never worked with them and i want to try my hand hello there just got to crumble and it is my first time in over a week. So let's see what they got. If you've never been to crumble, they are a cookie shop that changes their flavors out every week. So they're constantly rotating, fun stuff to try. I got a six box. Oh, look at these. So we got chilled sugar, lemon glaze, muddy buddy, which is actually a flavor from last week they still had as well as these two, Cosmic Brownie and Cinnamon Sugar, and then Pink Velvet. Oh my gosh. I just wanna sit here and bite into all of these right now. I have to resist, resist, resist. I'm not gonna lie, I was planning to talk to you all a little bit more before I went inside, but as I parked, I saw two other people parking at the same time that were obviously about to go in there with kids and groups. And I was like, let me run in there real quick because I did not wanna be waiting in no big old line. And I'm so excited because they had some flavors from last week that we did not get to try. I did not get to try. Chris had some at work today and he got to try some of the flavors from last week, but I didn't and they still had them. So, 